Hello, okay, um, so this video is about the name of God. Okay, it's a very important subject, okay? So, thing is, is for political reasons, who God is, including God's name and the description of God, has been manipulated through kings and priests for political, for good intentions, you know, partially, you know, a certain percentage good intentions and a certain percentage political reasons and a certain percentage, um, you know, for the longevity of the of the, that religion reasons. So, uh, some people say the name of God is God. Some people say the name of God is Jehovah. Some people say the name of God is Yahweh. Some people say the name of God is Allah. So, so the thing is, is that that's what it's, those people that say those things, that's what their scriptures say. So it's very important that you watch. One of, one of the big contributions of this channel is uh, to look, th to study and learn and know the playlist about who wrote the Bible called Who Wrote the Bible? A Scholarly Look. You're going to want to look at that because it's, you can't really, it's not, you can't in a safe way listen to any of those people and make it through without either being polluted, you know, because like you, you don't want to believe what they, they're they saying or, or somehow you can figure out that it isn't true or something. And so then you just like throw away the whole subject of God and say you don't believe in God, you know, based on that and things like that, you know? When, when, when in reality, like, so as far as, uh, when, it, you know, in reality, it's all been mis, it's been misinterpreted, you know? Okay. Everything has happened in like a, in evolution. We started out from a pagan background, okay? including the name of God. Some say the name of God is Elohim. The El and Elohim, they say that's Hebrew. It's plural, Eloah is singular, and that's where Allah comes from, because Hebrew is an older language than Arabic, and Elohim is plural for the, for the Trinity. But Elohim and Eloah are the same word, and that's the name of God. That's, you know, El was the most high God whose effigy was a bull, you know, of the pagan religion before that, you know? So we started out pagan, and we eventually evolved into monotheism, okay? And with monotheism came these these names of these deities, but they, the people that came up with the names of the deities took the ideas from already existing deities from the pagan religion, okay? So Elohim, that name is, it comes from pagan origins because there wasn't monotheism if you go back far enough, you know? So they, they say that's not what the scriptures say. So that's why you have to be careful because like uh, at the Yah and Sway, we say that, that the name of God is is Yahweh, but, but that's not probably how you pronounce it, you know? Like a good guess might be Yod Che Bao Che, or you know, it's like saying each letter of the, of the tetragram. The tetragram is the Yod, Che, Vau, Che, the Hebrew characters. And they say pronounced together as a word, it's Yahweh. That's what the most common. So tetragrammation means how you pronounce the tetragram and the four letters are the tetragram. So the tetragrammation is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's in dispute about, about how, you, how you pronounce the tetragram. Um, so, you know, and that's kind of the root of all these, of the monotheistic religions, you know? So, then on top of that, they redefine God as a man in the sky with a beard, see? So that's why this has happened. So, like, I was watching this video today, some, some rabbis were discussing how the name of, of God isn't Yahweh either, that, it's, that, that, that there's a secret that's been hidden among just the rabbis. And they say, because of this translation, then you take this translation, you translate it into Hebrew and this and that. And, and you, you, if you listen to them, you would say, well, they know more about it than the Yah and Sway. 
because they, after all, they know Hebrew and these translations and these secret books and things like that. You know, you need to be more educated than that, okay? So it's important that you look at the, that you learn this message that, that we're trying to say here on this channel, okay? You gotta understand who wrote the Bible because it, because it doesn't matter if you're from a Christian background or a Judeo, um, you know, Jewish background or how you're looking at it, you know, and then Islam, uh, you know, like, so first was paganism, then Judaism, then Christianity and, and, and Islam, you know, so, so Judaism is a lot older than, um, than Christianity and Islam. So, you know, so, so, uh, so just because they think they can take a scripture and say this is what this means and it translates this, all the scriptures, none of them were written by God. The books that were supposed to be written by Moses weren't written by Moses. And, you know, all these books that they're saying, well, this says this and this translated this and that. These are all, it's all, it's, it, you know, they're things that priests have put together and taken pieces of what this person said, pieces of what that said, written text, and political reasons and manipulations and good intentions and they've mixed it all together artistically and in inspiration and done a great job. It's not garbage, it's awesome, it's wonderful stuff and it has much to teach us and everything but but you know it's still you know it doesn't mean that just because it says something that it's true. So they, they try to say you know, the Jewish faith would say, well, the, about us, the Yon's way, they would say that we're just in a bunch of witches, you know, and, and that, that we think that they, that, that they came from paganism and all this, but this translation this, and this translation that, and this translates from Hebrew this, and this from sense before that, then later was translated to Hebrew that, and things like that, and it's like, they don't, they don't, they miss the point that it doesn't matter. You know, scriptures aren't the word of God. It doesn't matter how far back in time you go. It doesn't matter whose scriptures you're reading. It, it, but the scripture is not the word of God. No, no book is the word of God. Okay. Turns out Yahweh, we learn, and it's a the, the foundational teaching in the Yan Sway, but it's a it's commonly known in many circles of the, especially the occult with the, with the the meaning of the tetragram and the Kabbalah. All the Kabbalah is based on the concept of what the tetragram means. Fire, water, air, and earth. And uh, red, blue, yellow, green. And, and um, you know, like the planets and the, all the correspondences and everything. It means that because God is something that's within. So they're, they're, they manipulate it and they... they Part, part of what they're trying to do with manipulating it is making, they're trying to make God sound like this person up in the sky so that it detaches from, from in you, from in you. And, and then they can speak at, for God. So it gives them the microphone and it rips God out of your, out of your existence. You know, now they do the talking and you have to believe everything they say. And then they hand you a book and say, this is, you know, this is what God says, and we're the ones that tell you how to interpret it and what it means, you know? So that you can see why they want to change and manipulate the name of God. You might say, why would anybody want to do all that stuff? Because the name of God is Yahweh, yod che the the tetragram. Fire, water, air, and earth, it's within. And they want God to be a man in the sky so that they can control you, okay? With... With good intentions, it's not just pure evil, okay? These are rabbis that's trying to, that, that do love you, and they are. Remember Jesus? He, you know, he tells the, that rabbi, you know, and who do you, who would you say that God is? And the rabbi answers and he says, <laughs> you're not very far off. You know what I mean? Like, you can learn a lot from how Jesus inter interacts with the 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 rabbis and the Sadducees and Pharisees. And you can see that, you know, you, you can notate his uh, frustrations with them and his anger, the things he doesn't like about, you know, 
And, and a lot of that's the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. A lot of that's exactly what I'm saying, you know. That they just love the letter of the law, but they miss the whole point. Okay? So, so that's why the Yah and Sway believe, that's why we believe what we believe. So if you listen to, if you, uh, you know, study the Yah and Sway, you know, and you're going to listen to all these videos, and you're going to study our scriptures, the Dragonfly Sutra, you're going you're gonna to easily be able to find people that can prove everything we're saying we believe wrong. You know, the Jews can prove it's real. Say, no, it's not Yahweh. It's, it's not Yoche Vauche either. It's, it's some other Hebrew word, you know. But it's like, you know, and, and what does that word mean? And let me guess so, so that we can, you know, it's like, you know, why are you trying to manipulate me, you know? The, the scriptures like, you, they're taking, you know, don't for, don't lose focus is what I'm saying with who, what the Bible really is and who wrote it and why it was written and how it was translated and retranslated and the reality of this book that they're telling you that this says this and this verse that and being all technical about the words and how they're spelled and how they translate. None of that really actually matters. That's why we have the Dragonfly Sutra. The Dragonfly Sutra obviously was read written by some kid off the streets, me, you know. You know, I'm just some person, you know, and it's filled with mistakes and everything. But and when, when it comes to scripture, as far as where we are nowadays and what we should understand is if it's, if it's perfect, then it's very imperfect. But if it's imperfect, then it's absolutely perfect. You know, so that's why this stuff is true, because if it's without contradiction and completely true, then it's a lie. But if it has mistakes and contradictions and and is imperfections, then it's absolutely perfect because it makes the right message for this modern day and age. You know, because it can't. If it's perfect and and all translated and all the, all that stuff they're saying, then then it then it starts looking like it really is the word of God. You know. When it's not, you know, like the Dragonfly Sutra, I might go in there and like at one stage of my life and realize I was wrong about something and, and cross it out and rewrite that sentence or that paragraph, you know? What, what rule, none of the rules in the Dragonfly Sutra says that's against the rules. And it says that the reader can write their own whole new book, read it, get ideas from it, and write your own scriptures. You don't even have to call it the Dragonfly Sutra. But just please don't think that the Torah and the Quran and the Bible are the word of God. They're not. They're just inspired books that are very ancient that we've manifested a lot of thought energy into. They can manifest prophecies and, and can make things happen because of all the thought energy we've invested into it. And we create things with our thoughts. That's what Yahweh is all about is that we create things with our thoughts as it goes further down the Sephirot. So, so that's why the Yan Sway, that's why we believe what we believe, okay? Yahweh, or for short, Jah, Jah is God. Because we don't go around saying Yahweh, it, ca it casts pearl before swine. We just call God Jah when we're just talking to people so that, so that it's somewhat protected. That's short for Yahweh, you know? But we know it's probably not pronounced Yahweh. According to my studies and my best guess, I think it's probably just Yod Che Vau Che, you know, just the letters. But I'm sure that there'd be an end, there'd be a whole sea of people that can prove that's not true. But why should I listen to them? They're just people that are trying to sound smart and want me to think they're cool. You know, it doesn't make them right. And, they, and if you listen to them talk, They'll constantly forget that the Bible isn't the Word of God. They'll, and it says right here in this verse and that, and it's like, that's really cool, but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't prove anything. That's just a book that was written that was trying to manipulate you into thinking certain things so people could control you in past lives, you know, which means it's very valuable and it's relevant, but it's not... It's not the end determiner of what things mean. We need to, it's between us and our guardian angel and our experience and where we are and just everything else, you know, God's within.